Greetings everybody and welcome to my 7 days to die modding tutorial for Alpha 18. We are now on episode 16. In the last episode guys we started to look at the loot xml file and we went over a couple of things. We went over how to add our own items to a currently existing loot group. Uh, we also looked at creating our own loot groups and some bad practices that you'd want to avoid when doing so. We also looked at some positional uh, positional index lookups in order to use our x pass to insert before the very first thing in a, a loot container and and we also discussed the uh, the problems with insert before reversing uh, the order of which you put things in. So in this episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue with the loot XML file, and we're going to take a look at a couple of cool little things. Now, the first thing I want to look at is there is. Let's go ahead and have a look at the mining helmet. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's something like this mining helmet. Let's go and do this. Here we go. So what I want to show you guys is there is actually a way to make your loot come with mods. Right. So say, for example, if you wanted to find a gun and you wanted your guns to actually appear with mods, you can actually do this because you may realize that when you look at a mining helmet, it always comes with a helmet light. Right. And as you can see, there's a couple of new parameters in here that we can define. So, for example, in this case, we could just say um, the item name is uh, for the the item mod we have is mod armor helmet light. And the mod chance, which is the probability that this thing is going to show up, is one. So one being 100 percent means this thing will always show up. So essentially, every time you find um, a mining helmet is always going to go ahead and have a mod chance of one to show this uh, armor helmet light. So that's really cool. So money helmets can always spawn with lights when looted and they will always have that mod. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see if we can add some mods to some other things. Because wouldn't it be cool if you could actually loot some stuff that already came pre-modded? Because, you know, mods aren't the most common thing in the world. And sometimes it's nice to find loot that's pre-modded that you can then take the mods off. So the first thing you may have noticed is um, that the mods don't actually show up in the uh, in the items XML, right? So if you've gone ahead into the vanilla file and you've gone to items and you've gone and had a look for all the stuff, you'll probably see that mods aren't actually here. So where the hell are the mods? Well, the mods are actually in... Uh, this guy, item modifiers to XML. And this is all the item modifiers that you can get. Okay, so this is where you find them. So you have barrel extenders, uh, silver is barrel attachments and turrets. So it, this shows you like where they can be installed. Um, and it tells you then the certain properties that this thing does, which is pretty cool. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and have a look at some of these and see if we can add those to, um, to some of these things. So why don't we go ahead and see um let's go ahead and see perhaps if we can add maybe a sound suppressor silencer to the pistol let's go ahead and do that so why don't we go ahead and find a gun pistol so here's what we're going to do so in our loot file so let's close our items we don't need this anymore so this is called gun pistol so i'm going to go for actually we need our villain loot file let me just type gun pistol okay here we go so group weapons t2 gunslinger so you got gun pistol here you got gun pistol schematic, but I just want the I just want the gun pistol, right? So looks like we can find it in this one as well, and we can find it where else can we find it in weapon test. So we can find it in the weapon test loot, and uh, we can find it in range quest loots, and we can find it in these loot containers as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and add a mods equals, and then we're going to do this, and we're going to say for example mod chance equals 0.5 just for just, just for a little bit of a just for a little bit of a go here so let's go ahead and see if we can add a mods attribute here with a sound with a silencer and a mod chance of 0.5 okay let's go ahead and see if we can do that so let's go back to the mining helmet just to make sure we've uh, done this correctly but i think we have so yeah it's just mods and then mod chance okay that's all we're going to go ahead and do to this one so what we're going to be doing guys is as we've done before is we're going to go ahead and use the set attribute, okay? And I want this to apply not only to this gun pistol here, but to all the gun pistols. So what we can do is we can literally do an X path that skips to item name equals gun pistol and then add our attributes to these. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this stuff out here. And let's go ahead and make it so that the pistol is going to spawn with the silencer 
50% of the time, because I think that sounds really cool. So let's go and do that. So let's go down to let's go to our one, and we'll come down here. And I'm going to say, let's give myself a little bit more room to work so you guys can see it as well. And scroll down, and I'm going to say right here that we are going to add the possibility of silencers to be found on pistols. Excellent. Now, bear in mind that if a gun has no mod slots available, say if it's like a level 1 gun that can't be modded, then it's not going to go ahead and add this mod in there. Okay, so bear that in mind. If, if it's a, a, low, a low enough level gun, even if you do set a mod chance of a certain probability, it won't spawn with those mods. So what we're going to do is we need to go set attribute, and then we're going to go, we need a name, and we need an X, uh, we need a name, but we need an X path as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So set attribute X path equals this, and name equals this. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Right, so we need actually two of these, but the X path is going to be double slash, and we want to find every item in this loop folder whose name is gun pistol. Okay, that's what we want to go ahead and do. And then we want to go ahead and say the name of the attribute is going to be mods. And then the value of that attribute is going to be mod gun suppressed silencer. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and stick you right there. Okay, so this is the first one. And then let's go ahead and add a mod chance of 0.5 to this as well. So if we go and copy this guy, and then I go and place this guy down here. And then we want to go ahead and call it mod underscore chance. And the value for this is just going to be. 0.5. So what this means now is there is a 50% chance that whenever we loot a pistol, we're going to go ahead and find a uh, sound suppressor on there, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and do another one as well, just to just to be awesome. So let's see what other mods there are that we could potentially use. So there is the laser sight, which could be good for the AK, or there's a, uh, a gun flashlight, which could be used for anything. Um, a scope small, which could be used for something, a scope medium and a scope long. So there's a couple of scopes and stuff we can use. Uh, maybe a reflex sight would be pretty cool on the uh, maybe maybe AKs come with reflex sights um, or maybe a tree group. Yeah, tree group burst, tree group automatic, uh, rod and spring that could be good for an AK as well and a bipod. Okay, maybe we should make AKs come with a bipod. So what we want to do is we want to first look for in the main one. Let's look for I think it's gun AK47. I think that's what it's called. And there we go. So, yeah, it's just called Gun AK47. So you've got barrel attachments, side attachments, small top attachments, scope, trigger. So you can go ahead and use... Um you can go ahead and use mod tags as well, I believe, um, to make this show up. But I don't want to go ahead and use that. We want to specify some individual ones instead. So what we can go ahead and do is we're going to say gun AK47. And we're going to do the same kind of thing here. So this is what we want here. And we want to use it on this guy, gun AK47. Okay, that's what we want to use. So let's go ahead and copy this guy here. And this is going to say adds the possibility of the bipod to AKs. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So let's go and paste these in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this guy and change it to gun AK-47 in both of these. And then we're going to copy this guy. And then we're going to change the mod name to the bipod. And let's set the chance to 0.3. So 30% chance to find a bipod on an AK, which is going to be really cool. So let's go ahead then and save this out. And let's see if this works, because this is going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to go to Steam and launch seven days. Here we go. One of those, one of those. And we are away. So hopefully, if all is said and done correctly, this is going to work just fine. All right, so here we go. So let's go to here and to Tutorial World. And then let's go CM and DM. Put those things on. And hopefully we don't get any X-Path errors. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, my first model does not apply, insert our tracks path, dictate ID. Oh wait, no, that's fine. Um, that's actually meant to error out because I was just using it as an example. So actually I can go ahead uh, while this thing is loading. See, that would be an expert error because we didn't have any of this uh, loop container stuff. So let's go ahead and do this one. Um, so yeah, that, sh that should have been uh, loop group, by the way, not um, not loop container. So that was a slight, slight mistake in that one. But let's go ahead and just comment out this X-Path. And then I guess I can correct that to loot, uh, loot group. There you go. So you can go ahead and do this. So, change that to loot group. 
and then that works there. There we go. So I've corrected that one. So yeah, in the last episode, if you saw a loot container, that was a mistake I made on my part. So that's fine. Uh, let's go into here then. And let's go ahead and put down some shotgun massacre grease. Because this is probably where we're going to find the pistols and things. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's grab some of these, uh, which I actually haven't already have. Then we can use our dev hammer to just destroy these things. And then check if we got ourselves any pistols and stuff, right? Let's go do that. Okay, let's do this. So, now we can go ahead and come here. And, oh, I don't want to fly. I just want to come in here. And we're going to open all these up. And let's go and loot these and see what we get. So, this one gave us nothing we wanted. This one gave us, again, nothing we wanted. So we're going to keep going until we get a pistol or a AK. So let's keep looking in here to see if we can finally get something useful from here. Uh, I could try gun safes as well because that probably has a, a good chance of doing it. And the uh, hardened chest as well, probably a good chance, so not in there. Uh, there we go, we got a pistol, and look! The pistol has a silence mod. Look at that, so the silence mod is present on the pistol. So as you can see, that worked just fine. Let's go ahead and loot some more and see if we can maybe find a pistol. I uh, see if we can maybe find a pistol without one. Right, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, baseball bat parts, not bad, anything in here. So we'll loot these, open these. Let's see what we find in each of these. So another gun store box here. Uh, there's a shotgun, but that doesn't ever come with mods. Nothing there. But yeah, this you can use this pretty much to say um, what you're going to find on these things, which is pretty cool. So nothing there. And let's have a look here. Anything on this one? Nope. Okay, so we've only found one pistol so far. Hopefully I'll find an AK in a minute. If not, I'll use the hardened chest, because I think they spawn, they spawn more guns pretty much um, all the time. So probably the better one to look through would be that. But yeah, as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of XP from doing this, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so sledgehammer, so nothing in those. But yeah, as you can see already from our first example, it did actually work with the mods, which is really cool. So yeah, if you want to now have uh, guns that come with mods, you could balance it out by removing uh, mod crafting, uh, and then you could just have the guns that come with those mods instead, which would be really cool. And same with armor, so if you get it as like rewards, I think I believe you can do it in traders as well. Yeah, so we only got one pistol here. Let's try some of the uh, reinforced chests. Or harden chest, I think it's called, uh, for the big ones. So there's harden chest right here. And I think we want the dev version. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this, maybe this will work. Uh, yep, it's locked. So let's go ahead and smash this up and see what we get in here. Just turn to a reinforced chest. Okay, so it is a reinforced chest. I guess the harden chest is the locked one. But I want the, the reinforced chest. I think it's this anyway. I'm not too sure. It's, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what, what it is downgrades into. Oh, we got a zombie coming. Let me just kill you. Kill. Okay, so maybe okay, maybe a gun safe. Uh, let's see. Gun safe. Uh, I want the locked one. If that appears. Anyway, there is the locked one. So maybe this will work instead. No. Okay, I guess because it's player placed it's not going to work. Okay. So yeah, th some of these loot containers don't work because they are player placed and I guess that's going to be the problem there. Um, so yeah, I can't really show you with gun safes, but as you did see, we've gone ahead and found some good stuff there. I guess I can go to the top here because there'll be a, um, there will be, I know, a hardened box up here somewhere that I can go ahead and, uh, and open. Here we go. There's going to be something over here. Where is the hardened box? So there is a, uh, that's the one apart, but I guess the other side, isn't it? Um, it's in here, I think. Yeah, here we go. So this is the hardened chest. This is the unlocked one. Let's see what we get in here. So here we go. We got some armor and stuff in there. It's pretty cool. So nothing, uh, nothing too great. Anything in here? Here we go. This hardened chest. What do we have in here? We have any guns and mods on it? No, no guns and mods on it. That's uh, that's fine. I just wanted to see if we could find any more examples of those things, but I'm guessing we're not going to be so lucky. And look, we're already getting attacked by a zombie in here. For for some reason. A, fer a feral's up here for, for whatever reason. I guess because, you know, it's a, it's a high-end loot area, so not surprised to see any ferals in here. But yeah, unfortunately, no guns or ammo. Hmm. Are there any radiant ones up here? Just some, just some ferals and torches. I can send them flying, though. What else do you find up here, like, on the early game tools? So just a load of ferals, pretty much. That's pretty cool. This hammer sends them flying, too. There you go. Oh, wow. 
Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, anyway, distractions aside, um, that's how you will be able to get the mods and stuff to show up on your guns and weapons if you really want them to be uh, shown up, which is really, really cool. So that's pretty much um, what I wanted to show you in this episode. Um, because I think that's a really, really cool thing. Now, I've decided as well that I know I was going to talk about loot probability templates and, and quality templates, but I think that's kind of a tutorial for a more advanced um, a more advanced episode. So I don't really want to delve into that um, just yet. I want to go ahead and wait to be able to do that, because as you can see, these things uh, contain quite a lot of numbers, quite a lot of math, and I kind of just want to go through more of the simple things first so that we can actually start doing some more awesome things. Because the more basic knowledge you have of the XML files, the more cool things you'll be able to do and we really need to move on to blocks so that i can show you how you can combine those with some of the stuff that we've seen here um, to make some really cool things so what we're going to do guys is this is pretty much what i wanted to show you in this episode very quick one i know but in the next episode we're going to we're going to go and move on to the blocks file and in the blocks file we can go ahead and look at how to set up your own blocks and how to adjust properties of other blocks so that should be pretty cool and let's go ahead and see what we can do there so what we're going to do now guys is end off the episode here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one so until then <laughs>